I live in a van full time and I am a circus artist. It is a very niche career, so I want to take you behind the scenes, a day in the life of a circus performer. We went out with Andrew's co-workers last night and it was too much. And I have a gig. So I came to the gym that I teach at to get a shower. And I had to pick up a costume. And uh, I'm gonna do my makeup at the gym. And I'm really on the struggle bus. Andrew got me a smoothie from Wawa. And one of those like Gatorade Pedialytes. Oh boy, pray for me. Pray for me. Finished my makeup. I'm gonna put my ponytail on. The van is kind of cluttered. I have a bunch of performance stuff. I'm so tired, I could take a nap right now. All right, we're in the green room. And this is not my costume, this is one of Tigress's. Um, but yeah, this is like the bridal, whatever, green room. There's like a shower in here. This is the contortionist. Hi. Hi. Um, but yeah, this is nicer than where they had us. I did an event here last year, and we were just like in this side room where like all of the food was, <laughs> which was good because we kept eating, but then there was like no privacy. But yeah, I only have three sets. I'm gonna get some videos. And, um, yeah. So I am doing atmospheric sets, which means there's not a set choreographed routine, although I do have quite a few combinations and skills that I already plan on doing. I don't just go up there with an empty mind. I'm always very aware of my space. This was the first part of the event, which was VIP, so it wasn't as crowded. The first set, there was no music, um, so that was a little awkward for me, but that is all right. All right, I just did my first set. Andrew's watching some UFC stuff. Gunner's chilling. He was rolling in the grass earlier. It's really nice out. Um, the green room is really nice, but my bed is in here, so it's really comfortable to lay down. I'm really happy with my makeup and my hair today, just like nice and glam, nothing too difficult. Um, the weather's not too humid. My first set, um, it was supposed to be like the beginning of the event, because there was like a VIP cocktail hour prior, and the band was late, so I did my first set with no music. Um, which is always a little weird, but okay, whatever. We make it work, girl. Um, so hopefully my next set, I will have music to perform to. <laughs> um, and the hors d'oeuvres looked really good. And I hope I get some food. <laughs> He's so ridiculous. I knew if I pushed it on him, he wouldn't have bring it, but I held it down, just like, let him come to it. So he's like, it's not forcing me. I'm thirsty. Are you thirsty? Like a little camel. Are you a little thirsty boy? Huh? Are you a little thirsty boy? Oh, you're so thirsty, mama. Jeez, Gunner. He's thirsty, man. Are you like a little child? <laughs> He's like a little elderly a child, man. I gotta hold your bowl for you. Yep. He's like a little kid. There's some more here. Oh, now it's dribbling all over. Oh my god. So much slobber. So he, I think he's done. Oh lord. It's so weird. Gunner, why don't you go out there and do like a set? If I started pushing it towards him, he didn't want it, but if I just left it down. Like what would happen if you took Gunner to the hors d'oeuvres table? Oh my god. What would you do, Gunner? He's like, they got food here? Swinging around in the air, watching yeah. everybody eat these little snacks. I, I like want little snacks. Some kind of like, what's that sauce? I wonder. It's almost like a, like the stuff they have in the blooming onions. Oh. 
What's in the bloomin' onion sauce? Hmm? What's in the bloomin' onion sauce? Does it, does it have horseradish? Horseradish, ketchup? No. Maybe ketchup mayo. Worcestershire? I don't know. What's in, comment down below, what's in the bloomin' onion sauce? But it is good. Ah, don't hurt Gunner. Gunner, don't put up with this. Gunner said, that's all right. I'll get him when he least expects it. The band or quartet showed up and it was so lovely performing with live music. Uh, this was an event for a university, guess which one. And now I'll stop talking so you can just enjoy watching this. So it's just me. Um, I'm gonna clean up the green room a little bit. There's a shower here. I don't think I'm gonna shower here. I'll probably just shower at Andrew's office. Um, I have one more set in a few minutes. I'm gonna go do that. And then we can't break down until 10 p.m. So we're just gonna veg out and hang out in the van. Um, but yeah. So I was supposed to do my set now and they are still doing the dinner portion in the barn and it's like a, they were doing a presentation and speeches so nobody was out there. Um, so I just, you know, used common sense and got in touch with the event coordinator and was just like, hey, like I can push my set back, I'm not going anywhere. Um, typically you can't break down at events like when the event's still going on it's like really tacky so like i can't leave until the end of the event anyway so i don't care if i go on now or later um but that's pretty um common with any event i do the set times change and you just have to be flexible literally and figuratively um i was just editing some content in the van oh. you want her some pops <sighs> so i'm just trying to Limber again, but yeah, I am not as tired as I was earlier. Today was rough. <laughs> Today was real rough. I got way too <laughs> crazy daisy last night. <laughs> um, but I think it's like pretty insane that I can do what I do feeling the way that I do. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. This was the final set of the evening and probably the most crowded set. So I decided to do some more dynamic things. I try not to do all of my super crazy tricks right in the beginning. I try to space a lot of my skills out. So sometimes my sets are more graceful and dancey. And this one was definitely a bit more daring. So if you keep watching, I do an inverted man in the moon. Those are really fun. People seem to like those. And then I also did a climb above drop at the end here. While you're here, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more performance content as well as van life content. I love hearing everybody's questions about aerial and fire. You guys always have so many great questions, stuff that is just normal and everyday to me for my career. I would never think to even explain to you guys. So please, there are no silly questions when it comes to my job. I love teaching you guys. And if you're interested in becoming an aerialist or fire spinner, I have some great resources for you all. And here's the climb above drop. Some people gasp, but that's always really fun when I surprise people. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time when I take you through a Halloween event that I did spinning fire.